Rocket with Big Oost Radio. Big Manny and Bug. What's going down? Big Oost Radio. It's your Uso Bug. What's up, Uso? Yes, sir. What's up, Oos? I'm doing well. How you doing? I'm doing good, Oos. If you're tuning in, uh, we wanna we wanna first thank you for jumping on our live today. We're excited about today's show. If you're tapped in with us today, what we want you to do is go ahead and share this live video. Share it to your personal page. We've got an amazing show lined up for the folks. Right, Manny? Yes, sir. I'm excited to have one of the Ooses on. It's Bay Area. And it, Bay it Area. Good. It feels good when it's one of our own, too, man. Yeah, man. I've been following this dude for a long time, man. His yeah. music has definitely touched the lives of, you know, people all around the world, man. When I first heard that cut song man i was i was blown away man i was mesmerized by like like yo who is this mc man and so i'm excited to have him but i mean what's been going on with you bro how's the week been for you so i had to take a break from hiking news it was a bad rainy week and so my family been texting me saying hey what's up with the hike i was like oh rainy weather out here in washington man so there's no hiking bro you're cheating old goose man I... <laughs> something <laughs> You told me, you told me, Boog, I'm going to hike every single day, Monday through every Sunday. Every single sunny day. <laughs> you forgot the sunny part. Oh, you? sunny day. <laughs> so no hiking this week, man. How's the no family? How's the house G and the kids doing, man? They're doing good, man. Everybody's doing good. Uh, G had to quarantine herself. Um, you know, just taking precautions so that she, she's all right. But she's good now. Oh, okay. Well, definitely. Test results came back negative for COVID nineteen. Oh, okay. Well, praise God, man. Praise God, man. I almost kicked her out the house, but you know. <laughs> G, G, I hope G's G. If you're listening, you if you're listening, man. He just said he was going. He was going to kick you out the house. I was just playing. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, bro. So long week. Uh, it's it's been a good week so far. We're just at the beginning of it. Uh, coming off a great weekend. I mean, in, the weather up in the Northwest, it's been dope the last couple of days prior to like this rain, like right? Because Sunday yeah. was nice. Yeah, and yesterday then we got was some. Good. Yesterday was good. It wasn't yeah, too bad. Yeah. Today, I had, a, today... I had Big Oost Manny and a Little Oost Radio connecting on the grass yesterday. So the late. Grass up. So I saw that, Oost. Yeah. So I saw you had Jaira out there mowing the lawn. So late. <laughs> got to teach him young, Oost. That's a shout out to to, to little Oost Radio, uh, uh, little man, little nephew Gyro, man, out there yes, uh, putting in that work, man. So, been dope. Um, what else has been up, man? It's, it's the weather's okay. We're nearing the um, the end of the kind of fiscal school year, so I mean, shout out to all the seniors, bro. Things are starting to open up, book. Things are starting to op open up, but shout oh, yeah, out let's to do that. Let's do that, book. Let's give a shout out to the class of twenty twenty, man. Mm -hmm. I know it's been difficult this year. It's been different, and you know, 
nobody's fault, right? Yeah. Um, but we just want to, you know, we know that for families that it's hard to try to go through this process and try to figure out how to go about celebrating their loved ones who's graduated this year or who, you know, because when I graduated, but walking across that stage was everything, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And receiving that diploma was everything. And so um, for the class of 2020 who, do, who don't get to experience that. Um, that sucks, man. Shout out to you guys, man. That sucks, man. I know we're, we're, no, we're preparing for my nephew Daniel's graduation. Um, and so, I mean, it just sucks because you can't really plan anything. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, it's just, it's just a, just bad all the way around. So, but thank you to like the teachers and families who have yep. been like creative. I, I, I've seen a lot of like videos of, of different um, things happening in terms of how they, how they support, how they honor their seniors. Like that's been amazing to watch. And the, the great thing is like, is, is that helps other people who like don't know what to do. So if you are doing something special for your senior, like share it on social media so other folks can have some ideas and stuff, yeah. right? You know, what's amazing is that we're, we're, as human beings, we're always able to figure it out, man. No matter how True. hard, you know what I mean, life hits us. I, I've seen some dope celebrations already. And so it's like you said, man, share it. Let's get some ideas out there circulating so we can celebrate and just give them the best, the best, uh, graduation and celebration of yeah absolutely man shout out to the class of 2020 all those seniors um we are thinking about you our yeah. prayers are with you and the families and we just we pray f over you and your future that you would go on and to do good things and of course you're never ever gonna forget this time like you know what i mean yeah like class of 2020 man that's just it sucks but our prayers are with you man so book i was driving down um portland yesterday Portland and Avenue. I, I seen the line mm -hmm. on EQC, and I thought I thought I saw you standing in line. Was that you, Sully? Why you <laughs> gotta tell everybody? Just, I know the casinos just opened up. <laughs> Sully, why you gotta tell everybody? You know my dad's watching, and my parents are watching. Now they know where I was at yesterday. <laughs> I was in the line. It was me in the line. I am guilty as charged. No, no. No, it wasn't. But I did see. I saw that. I saw that line, bro. That line at the EQC was bananas. Yep. I hope. I hope the line is that long when the church opens up, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope the line to get into church is is as long as it was in the casino yesterday, man. Sure. So things are opening up, but we still would recommend that you know folks use wisdom, man. Wherever you're gonna be, man, make sure you have your mask. Make sure you're washing your hands. Make sure. Yeah. Make sure you're being cautious especially of our elderly, right? Because they're like the most most at risk in, in yeah. terms of what we see in data. Like, so like take care of your of your elders, be, be mindful because like, you know, while we can keep them safe at home, but the truth is like, oftentimes we could be the carrier, right? Yeah. We could be the person or people to bring that home to our loved ones and then it's all bad. So like, exactly. Stay home. Like, if you ain't got to be out, stay home. And stop going to Costco, man. I'm trying to get in Costco, but I can't get in Costco because y'all at Costco every day. So, man, I'm trying to go to Costco and there's always a line every day. I'm like, man, yeah. just let me get in once. Just let me get one pack of spam, bro. One pack, Oos. <laughs> yeah, so stay home. Be safe out there. Out there if you're tuning in. If you're locked into our um, uh, Big Oos uh, radio tonight, make sure you share this live stream. Thank you to everybody that that uh, could, has been showing love, has been sharing, has liked the page, so on and so forth. We really appreciate all the love. Thank you for rocking with us at, uh, at uh, during Unplug. We are super grateful. Unplug, I had a blast, bro. Yeah. Unplug was filthy. Unplug was just fire, man. Thank you for every and you know what was like super dope. Like during the time of Unplug, Uncle Feed was having a celebration. Dude, I didn't too. even know. But Bro. the crazy thing was all the artists that came on were showing love and they did a, you know, like a shout out to Uncle Feed. They did a tribute to him. And I didn't yeah. know that his concert was live for his 50th birthday. And so. Sully, I thought, I thought, yeah. I, I thought Fiji was older than 50, bro. Yeah, man. Well, Fiji's like, I don't know. You know, legends, man. Like, they just, they live forever, man. They live forever. That's true, man. I swear Fiji's older than 50, man. I swear we already celebrated Uncle Fiji's 50th birthday like a couple years ago. Shout out to to Uncle Fiji, shout out to Sister Burns, who's his manager, who we've sure. been able to connect in the past, and they have definitely, uh, they've, you know, answered every invite we've given them to come up and participate in our Samoan Culture Day festivities here 
uh, in Tacoma, Washington, and Lakewood, Washington. So, shout out to Uncle Feej. Happy yes, 50th. Sir. He's probably still celebrating his 50th. I see his Instagram. He's eating somewhere different every day. Shout out yeah. to Uncle Feej. You know, got to take it easy on that 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 gout. <laughs> 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 on that gout, man. So, today's show, man. Let's we let's we banger. we got a banger, right? Banger. This our guest. He hails from the Bay Area, San Jose, the Shark Tank. Ladies and gentlemen, we got brother Ado rocking with us tonight, and we are so excited uh, that he's able to join our show today. If you haven't got a chance to download that new single, Anthem, you better go to iTunes right now, run that up, because it is fire. We got David Thomas on it. We got Danelle on it. And it's, it's, it's one of the supper joints, right? Yeah. Listen to it right now. You hear it? Oh. Uh-huh. So beautiful, you can't deny it. No, never think that's left in the tank. If you're fine, so you know what I think. Sugar, she yeah. like can't in the field. And then she shows how you feel. I want you here. She hit her mama, she don't want me around no more. I washed up, you still love me, you sure? Swim good. You know, in the corner like a mom and pop store. I do this to get mom and pop some more. Your love way too good for me. And I know it. Come and meet me in the village of the league. Can you roll it? I'm gonna make you mine. Turn that up, Manny. That's right. Give me love. And sing. Bye, bye. You gotta hear it? Yes. I wanna take you down, girl. Give me some. Girl, I'm so in love. Hey! What's up, Joe? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one and only A Do. Pleasure to meet y'all. Pleasure to meet y'all. Pleasure to meet y'all. What's up, y'all? Bay Area. What's going on, Mozo? Man, it's still alive. Can't complain, man. How y'all doing? How y'all living? We 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 are doing well, man. How's how's things uh, uh happening out there in the Bay Area? Oh, man, it's good as good can be, you know. Shit, uh, yeah. we still alive. We still still maintaining out here, so. They said uh, it's getting bad with the virus out here, but you know I really can't tell because we don't, you know, we be quarantined so much. But we are. Right. How y'all so doing though? We're doing well, man. We're doing well. So are, is is the city locked up right now? Uh, stay in shelter. We we doing that. Uh, I mean, people are still like there's only essential people working, so it, it almost feels like it's it's just lack of traffic. Okay. Well, we are so grateful and, and thankful that you could join us on Big Oost Radio. Salute Thank you. to you for taking the time out to rock with us this evening. Um, on behalf of Manny and I and all of our listeners and followers, man, we're we're, we're honored to have this time. I'm excited about this. Hold time, on, man. bro. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. But anything, anytime I can have value, especially something that our people's got going on, it's pretty dope. For sure. So tell us, though, where, where, you know, it is always important for us to, like, honor our our families, right? Uh, the shoulders that we stand on. Uh, tell us, where's your family from? Where's your, where's mom and pops from? Where, you know? Uh, my mother and father, they were born out here, but uh, I know my, my father's parents, my grandfather's on this side is from uh, Fongo Fongo and uh, my grandmother's from Fongo Sa. I'm not too sure about my uh, my relatives in LA, where, where exactly where they're from, from the or so more. Okay, so grand, grandmother, that's on your mom's side, is from Fongo no, 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 my, my grandmother on my dad, my dad's parents. I, I, I kind of have a, you know, a, okay, a notion of where they're from out there. Okay. Not to be, you not know, because I never been there. Oh, you've never been to Samoa? No, nah, but I never been. There. I just heard about, oh. you know, about the stories and shit like that. Okay, well, we gotta take you, man. We gotta take you, man. We gotta take you. Right on, right on. I would so, love so, to, dog. I would definitely love to. So, so your parent, your dad's side is from Fongo Fongo and also Fongo Sa. Shout out yeah. to any viewers that are listening in. If you're from Asa or from Pongo, let me see you light up that live, live right now. <laughs> well, I know, man. If you're out there, thank you for watching. And then for you, did you grow up in the Bay your whole life? Tell us about that. You're yeah, man. I grew up. Uh, I grew up in San Jose my whole life on the east side. I grew up. Uh, I was like, uh, fortunate enough to live inside one uh, house for down in my whole life. I barely moved out of there like two years ago, and I was there for twenty plus. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so it was fortunate. Yeah, my, my grandfather who came out here from Samoa, uh, he was like uh, a waiter and a, a janitor over there at uh, San Jose State. And, uh, he, uh, you know, I think he took a loan out on the bank and he was able to buy a couple of uh, houses for him and his, uh, I think, his wife's family. And shit, man, that's the same house that we still live in to this day. My mama still living on the East. Real yeah. Eastside. Shout out to Eastside San Jose. Yeah, that poor, that poor. 
Uh, yes, sir. San Jose, if you're listening, you're tuning me in. Let me see you hey, live at that live. San Jose, right? You know, I got a little bit of San Jose in me, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, 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 when I was sharing earlier, I was actually born yeah. in San Jose, man. So shout out to, you know, all the fam off of Story Small Road. world. Small Sorry. world, bro. My, yeah. my grandma uh, had a house right off of Rigoletto. You know, yeah, so yeah, shout yeah, out yeah. To, to all the fam and my also told, I think y'all was the only family on Rigoletto, right? That was Polly? We was the only family. My grandma, yeah. she was the only, yeah, they, they was the only polys. I just remember it right being in the middle of the block and shit, hella polys. Hella polys, right in the middle of the block, man, off of Rigoletto, man. So shout out to all my Rigoletto, all my Sano fam. But we're excited to have you. So what was it like? What is what is it like growing up in the Bay? What was it like for you? Oh, well, I, I can't speak for everybody. You know, it's different in every household, you know, case by case basis. For As far as, like, me and my brothers, uh, we got lost in uh, sports and my 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 parents are really big on education and you know having us see that uh you know to the next level like college and all the stuff like that uh and church i mean you can pretty much sum it like that bro family church sports yep. and uh education and school and stuff like that that's okay. pretty much my yeah that's my life growing up over here uh, in san jose okay what, what a local church in san jose you want to shout them out uh man what was i'm a cowboy san jose uh alg yeah, I forgot. I forgot the name. It's an AOG church, though. It's a uh, Nitty's, Nitty's uh, father's uh, church. Oh, so him and my grandfather uh, are related. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Nitty four five four. We see Man, you in the building. Man, shout out to my brother Nitty. Yeah, that part. <laughs> uh, uh, shout out to Nitty. So Nitty, Nitty's father is a fight foul. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dope! I didn't know that, man. Yeah. Yeah, dope. we was all related. Like everybody when I first went to four five four, it was uh with Nitty and uh, Nitty. And then we went over there to go uh, see Drew and then possibly get on a song. And uh, shit, we're all related. And each is my first cousin and Drew, his grandmother and my grandmother are sisters. Wow. Yeah, so it was, yeah, it tripped me out how it worked like that. Did you guys, so did you guys grow up together? Like, did, would you, we got, did you guys play sports together? Uh, Nietzsche was always in and out because he's from uh, Frisco. So we see him like every other summer. Uh, Nitty, we, we used to be with him every damn near every uh, Sunday for church. And then Drew was always in and out with uh, his, well, I think Drew, DJ was there for a while too, with the church thing too, but he wasn't always there like as much as us. We had to go every Sunday and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, and it was very small, bro. It was like the patio of, uh, of the house. So it was just like uh, Nitty's family and then my family, and then probably like another one, bro. Like even Oops Nation, like that's when I first uh, we met them. Bro, we, we went to church with Alex and Alfred, and, and then they moved to him. Fairfield. Yeah, and their their father, you know, shout out to Oops Nation. Their father the fight for as well. Wow. So and Oops Nation, for those that are viewing in, Oops Nation is a producer, correct? Yeah, that's two people. It's uh Alex and Alfred, but for the most part, uh, because Alfred is now being a fight for Alex. Wow. Yeah. Oops Nation. Shout out to Oops Nation. So yeah, they, so we, they, they they produce some of your music. Yeah, hell yeah, they, they produced a lot of my music. Uh, they did like half of the Hello Project. And uh, for the recent one on Good Reception that I just did, they did, uh, I think, Bad One and something else. Bad One's a fire. That, bad One is, is a fire. Yeah, it sounds like some church record. stuff, right? Some church yeah. things, you know? Yeah. That's a, that's a hot record, man. So wh where did where did the love for music happen for you? Where did that come from? Uh, Man, it's always been there, bro. For real, for real. Uh, am I like... When I was a kid, even like for church, I would wake up to my grandfather playing his accordion and my grandmother singing like church songs and stuff every Sunday to wake us up to go to church. And then in between it, it was just, it was, it was way different in my house. My, my father listened to like rock and roll and stuff like that. And then my, my mother loved Beach Boys and ABBA. And then me and my brothers kind of grew up with R&B. And then my older brother was listening to like uh, Pac and uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. So it was just an eclectic of a bunch of, you know, different music. And mm. we all just kind of found our pockets of, you know, this is what I think is pretty dope. Yeah, because we definitely hear that, that fuse in your music. I mean, the balance of like hip hop and then also like the singing mm -hmm. on the different records that we hear. Like, where where did you draw a lot of your inspiration for, for your music? Uh, I mean, curiosity, dog, really, bro. Like, I'd be super curious to be like, let me let me see what I sound like, you know, or let me do this. Let me let me actually try to sing, you know, rather than rap sing on this. It, it really came from that, and just listening to you know the, the what everybody else was doing to an extent. Like, oh man, I, I see people, you know, they're going out on a limb to, you know, 
putting themselves in a box where they, you know, uncomfortability is comfortable, you know, where, they, where they're trying to be at. And I was, I was doing the same thing. Like, let me go out of my comfort zone and try to do something I don't normally do. And I try to do that every track, man. If it be like the format of the song to like the way I approach the song, write on it or, or drop bars on it. Because you write all your music, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Have you written yeah. any? Have you written any music for like other artists? Uh, I've, I've co-written with artists. I haven't written a whole song to actually like get like a placement to an extent, mm -hmm. but I've definitely written a song in an attempt to give to other artists. It's just you know I have a kind. Of... I see. I see. What? What? Talk to us about maybe an area in your music career, or just in life, where where you might experience some struggle. Man, it's every day, bro. Yeah, I mean, it, it all depends on the, uh, you know, it, it it to the most minute struggle to the biggest thing. You know, everything is a struggle in a sense, especially how you deal with it. But throughout life, it's just I take something that I went through in the morning, and if I'm going to the studio in the, in the evening, yeah, bro, it, it's a good chance, bro. I'm gonna talk about that mm -hmm. being it's so recent, and you know, I'm still in my feelings. You know what I mean? Like I still have the same emotion that I. It ain't too far fetched for me to get back in that bag of emotion that I was in this morning. And then, you know, put that on the track, man. Yeah, that's dope. Cause like, what would you say to like, to like young, young listeners, man? Young, young, or maybe a young doe right now who's up and coming, who's in the studio, who has this interest for music. What would you, and who, who might be running, running into like barriers? What would you say to them? I would, I would tell them to uh, approach this game as though you already have a catalog of work. I, I, and I say that in the sense of, like start selling your stuff now. You know, you dig what I'm saying? Start putting out music. Don't, don't, you know, don't lean too far on giving out so much free music mm -hmm. that you are not compensated in the long run. You dig what I'm saying? Because if I was selling my stuff that I was doing in eighth grade to ninth grade and it was all still on a catalog that belonged to me, you know, I'd, I'd probably still be generating revenue to this day from that. You know what I mean? But I didn't know the game. You know, I didn't know the yeah. business. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know the long play like, oh shit, this is forever. You know, this lasts for the rest of our lives. You dig what I'm saying? So regardless of if one or two people buy it now, you know what I'm saying? You put in the work down the line, if you gain notoriety and, you know, uh, fame or people buying your stuff now, you know, it should coincide with them going back to your your catalog and, you know, possibly purchasing, purchasing all the work that you had to thus far. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that's what I would tell. So just keep working, man. There ain't no right way to get there. Just get there. That's good. At what so, point did you oh, go ahead? Go ahead, Manny. No, I had a question. I was I was wondering because yeah. I, I have a lot of um, uh, me and Boog, we talked to a lot of artists who through this pandemic, <coughs> right? Um, who's lost a lot? Yeah, it's crazy, bro. As soon as you said pandemic, I started coughing and shit. <laughs> 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 oh, we, no, yeah. my we, bad we bro what are you saying no, you good you good we talked to a lot of artists who's like lost a lot of shows a lot of gigs and stuff like that and so how has the pandemic um kind of like what is it for you now is it every day in the yeah, studio oh. and just waiting for another gig to come up or um how how how, how has it affected you well yeah um, definitely in the aspect of like i don't see no no way doing no shows for real anytime soon it's almost looking regular people doing live shows and then giving out like a uh, Venmo for people to send money to. That's almost looking like the regular thing. Cause I just can't, it's hard for me to fathom that people just gonna go right back to normal. Like, oh shit, as soon as uh, yeah. these people are even allowed to come back out, like why would they, you know, I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? I test the waters and after I see, you know, the first hundred people do it for the couple months or so, but it's definitely stopped uh, money flow in that aspect. And even with the studio situations, you gotta keep in mind, like, you know, some studios probably don't want you there or, or they're closed down for their own reasons. And, you know, they don't want you there with a whole bunch of people. Yeah. And it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's 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 like, a, it's a peace of mind to know that I'm not the only one going through this. You know, everybody's yeah. uh, trying to yeah. figure this thing out. You know, at this point, I'm just trying to figure out, all right, so how can I generate some sort of revenue that keeps mm -hmm. me afloat just like everybody else, you know? Cause I ain't got no like regular number five. You know, I wash yeah. windows on the side and then this, you know what I'm saying? So if I ain't getting no money from this, you know, I gotta really find it and, and get it somehow, some way. And I think I think that's very important because, you know, for a lot of people who thought that their jobs were secure, you know, they felt like they yeah. were on top of the world and, and whatever the case uh, may be. Now something like this come on where it's nobody's fault, right? 
Like you didn't. It's somebody's fault, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm mean, saying? I mean, that's a whole nother podcast, right? But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> straight up. Uh, straight up. I, 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 I dig what you're saying, but you well, know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't. You didn't mess up your flow of cash. It's just some happened. Boom! Now you're standing in unemployment line. And so I think it's very important to have many streams of revenue coming in and trying to figure and work through that through that stuff out because, you know, boom, this stuff happened. And now if you only have one yeah. stream of money coming in, then you're uh, in trouble. You know what I mean? No, 1,000, man. Shit, there's some people that been had a job for X amount of years mm -hmm. and they didn't think there was going to be a loose end to get cut off. And now they're in the unemployment line. And I'm almost like, man, are they even going to bring these cats back ever? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why would they? Especially if they downsize it to the point where they lost enough money to like, all right, let me just break the backs of my employees right now to, you know, at least get in the green, you know, uh, for, for the for the, uh, the meantime. You did know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's dope. Like, so you mentioned something earlier, Joe, is that you also, you also have a day, a day job, correct? Yeah, yeah, man. I'll be watching Windows, man. Shout out to my, uh, my, uh, my bro, Ron. Right on. That's dope. That's, that's dope. dope. That's yeah, dope, man. man. That's, that's definitely... Humble beginnings, man. We appreciate, you know, all you're doing. All right, man. That's your normal, bro. <laughs> you know what yeah, man. There's, just, there's tons of people. Like, even people listening to music. All right, bro. This is super normal, dog. You know, like having a day job or having two jobs, still chasing mm -hmm. your dream shit. Bro. That's right. You got to find a way right. to make it happen, bro. Ain't no one going to cry for you, dog. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, this ain't that kind of party, dog. Yeah. And that's so man. dope. That's so dope, right, man? For, like, the young young listeners that are listening in, you hear Doe share a story. Like, he's still grinding, man, yeah. and making sure that there's multiple streams of income that come in whatever way. Yeah, bro, bro, I'm making mistakes, dog. For real, for real, yeah. man. I'm trying, I'm trying to figure stuff out and I'm making mistakes, bro. If you ain't making no mistakes, it's almost like, oh, you kind of you know, gave up on the opportunity to try to do something more than, you know, you, you could do a whole lot, bro. It just starts with your mom front. Yeah, that's dope. You talked a little earlier about, like, some of your inspiration, like, the music and different styles of music. Who was, like, one of your favorite rappers growing up? Man, outside of my brothers, uh, like, man, I used to listen to uh, Five Nitty and my brother all the time, my brother Jay. But outside of them, I was really infatuated with Lauren Hill, dog. I was yeah. tripping, like, after she was singing. And because, you know, she could sing, dog. Yeah, and then she was, she was gassing, she was, like, rapping. I was like, yo, she, she doper than a lot of dudes I've ever heard. And, yeah. I, and keep in mind, I, I heard her at, a, like, a, a young age. Like, I remember seeing her... Uh, her album cover, and I was just like, "Oh, that's crazy!" Because you know, I be doodling on a school desk all the time, and she, you know, uh -huh. kind of looked like that on her thing. And then I, I used to see my sister playing her music, and then when I used to listen to the song, like when I uh, listen to the word "the X Factor," yo, mm. that shit tripped me out, bro. I was like, yeah. "Yo, this is some real suicidal in love." You know what I mean? But yeah. that was all from her pen. And from my understanding, she wrote everything. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. When she had one album, and she got like four, six, five Grammys, or something like that. Yeah, she's only put out like one body of work, bro. And she legendary, bro. Yeah. Off of that, that's I can hear some of that that inspiration, like in, in Brown Love. Like, yeah, I've done uh, doing dude, shit, man. We listen, try to do a country think, song. <laughs> the Brown Love, like you talking about some, you Don't know, try to do he, everything. When I first man. heard it, I was like, and then I started to really listen to the to the record and like, yo, this dude Doe is really going in, man. So, what, yeah, what we inspired turned, you to write was, that record? Uh, well, me and uh, Shakes, man, shout out to my bro Shakes. Uh, we was trying to make a country record, right? So, in the midst of writing a country record, uh, sometimes when I write, I just write straight poetry, right? Just mm -hmm. like some real, you know, like heartfelt. Let me try to get creative with words. Everything sounds like poetry in motion. And that's what I wrote. I just wrote, like, you know, a, a, a flat poem. And then he made the beat, and then he started catering off into like some doo wop language or something like Osa oh, Post School. And I was like, damn, what the hell that sound like? So then we did a whole riff on the whole song, just like, mm, you know, just riffing and making up words. Yeah. And then I put the words that I wrote as a poem on there. And that's why that's why it came out to, uh, the, I'll be lying if I told you I've had enough of you. Uh, yeah. uh, contradictions is only a couple ways. I was like trying to get Ooh, to like yeah. poems, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was just trying to get deep every like one bar. And when I do the singing thing, I'm already, you know, aware that it's only eight bars. And I, yeah. I, you know, I pride myself on writing and writing and writing at a, you know, like a, a fast pace, you know, quality work. So I was just like, all right, for sure, this shit should be in the bag. And then when it got so catchy and then we had the hook, I was like, yo, this is, this is fire. And now I just had to find something that, you know, that made it more than a song. So we kind of like, 
put the brown love spin on it because we was drinking a lot of Hennessy at the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got you. So it, yeah, it almost went hand in hand. But then we almost wanted to play on, you know, brown love as a people or brown love as, you know, probably like the cover or just like, yeah. you know, just, you know, just give it more than what it was. But we were only able to do the, the Hennessy thing as, as far as a visual yeah. and didn't really play on anything else. Yeah. When, when I heard that line, feel free to spill all of your love on these leather seats. Like, oh, this dude. Uh, man. Bro, when we was riding that stuff, dog, we was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we felt good. Yeah. Like the energy we had the night we made it, it's pretty much throughout that whole song, dog. That's dope, man. So what 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 kind of deems like a good session for you? Like, cause right, different artists, like, like you said, like uh, you gotta be with energy, dog. Energy, it's energy okay. bro. No, energy, bro. Like, I've been in studio sessions where it's like 50, 60 niggas up in there. And I've been in studios where it's like two or three of us, and other ones where it's just me and the engineer. It's just energy, bro. I mean, mm. the people in that building or in, you know in your your perimeter, bro, are really gonna add to what mm. you're trying to make or what you're trying to create right then and there, bro. Because you know everybody has like a well inside themselves of creativity, right? Mm. And then you use all the creativity you need to replenish the well. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So with that, you take the energy from everybody else around you. You know all that good stuff, all that great you know chemistry that's going on, and then. You know, just keep trying to create and stay on that level. Like, bro, I'm chasing this high, bro. You know what I mean? Like your first yeah. high, but like I want this all the time. You know what I mean? Mm. Especially when you're in the midst of like, I can make that right now. I bet you know, run it. That's dope. That's no, good. no, no, no haters in the circle, right? <laughs> no, nah, but I mean, shit, you don't even need to know who the haters sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's an open session with Cassie Green Cash. Yeah. I mean, I almost applauded. Let me, you know, let me put some mm. bars up. And you know, you tell me otherwise. You know what I'm saying? You know, because if you can't do it better than what what they doing, you know, you mm. should save two cents if you ain't got nothing nice to say. Mm. Book, I was just gonna, no, I was just gonna ask, um, how do you deal with the haters, right? Mm. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? As a, as, so we got a lot of. Um, uh, you talking about like like comments and trolling and stuff like that? All of that stuff because we got some yeah. young artists who come up in the game, who probably don't know how to deal with none of that stuff right man, you know, I, starting to get the comment section open up the dms and all of this stuff telling them um to quit now um go to <laughs> day job you know and stuff like that but that's be really dope out here but you know how do you how do you go about dealing with stuff like that and and i want to ask you because i know you dealt with it man, you know, it at the stage that you are now um how are you able to get over that stuff i mean i would tell them though the internet is undefeated, bro. It's never lost. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't going to mm. beat the internet, bro. You ain't never going to touch none of these folks. As far as I'm concerned, if you ain't spitting in my face and putting your hands on me or my loved ones, it's almost hard for me to give you a reaction. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I ain't going to react to no clown shit just, you know, to get a clown some, you know, some clown for what? Clout, yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And I even like if that. it was that, I, I, we could talk like men, bro. Like, what you need? You know what I'm saying? If, if it's me adding value to what you got going on, you know, you going around, you going away, you know, the way you going about it is totally wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, if it's like, you know, a crying out for attention or something like that, it all depends, you know, case by case basis. Yeah. But, you know, I don't, I, I, just, I just very seldom that I'll ever, like, read a comment or, like, go rewatch my stuff. You know, I almost feel like weird when people be bumping my music when I'm there, you know? Like, yeah. I put it out to, you know, not, not to hear it back from me, but just because that shit made me feel good. But now I'm at a point where, like, now I got to find a way to, you know, generate revenue rather than just, you know, making this my therapy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, make a living for this for the rest of my life. Not just for me, but for me and my family, you know? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for, yeah, for that's... answering that. You know, um, us who's a little bit older and then Boog who's older than all of us, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, sure, man. but a lot of times we know how to get over that stuff. And so I just wanted you to, you know, I know you got millions of followers and stuff like that and, and you might be you know i know you're inspiring a lot of young cats who's dealing with that right now and so thank you for answering that and you know just clearing that air up for them yeah that's yeah, a good thing too but the last thing you want is be lukewarm on anything bro mm. you know you know that nigga all right man oh bro you know you don't want that dude yeah. like they got if they hate you bro and they you know they really hate you it's because they 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 love something you got going on. Mm. They don't agree with you know whatever like the way you giving the message off or stuff. Cause you got to really know something to hate something, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you I have to that. heard the song over. You know what I'm saying? It's just mm -hmm. you know, take it take it how you get it. Yeah, that's so true. Um, and I appreciate you sharing that. What do you remember? You talked about like your inspirations, how to deal with the haters. You re do you remember the first rap you wrote? 
Yeah, bro. Shit, that's crazy. Uh, like yesterday, my grandfather passed away. I was uh, at Fisher Middle School. I think I was like in sixth or seventh grade, and I was writing a poem for my grandfather. And then my brother, it's funny now, though, because I think the, the, cause my brother got terrible memory, so I'm not even sure if he remember it. It's probably hella hard or something, but he walked over my shoulder while I was writing, and he told me to rap it. And I was like, what? And then I rapped it to him or whatever. Nothing came of it, but I remember us going to, like, the Boys and Girls Club uh, like and then to the homie's house to you know actually record some of those bars. I don't I don't necessarily like remember the words, but I know the content in it was for my grandfather. Like I was like in a real sad place. I remember oh. that. Uh, oh, that's so dope, man. I, I remember the first rap that I wrote, Manny. You know, oh, I don't wanna, shit. Hey, you know? <laughs> nah, you know. I don't I don't want to spit it right here. I don't want to embarrass the Uso dough right now and spit that 16. Go I, ahead, just rap into nah, that nah. big mic behind you. <laughs> um so musical music journey, like right now, you are signed with A plus family, correct? Yes, sir. Shout out to A plus family. Let's give them a shout, shout out. out. To shout A-plus out family. Shout out to, 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 to my Wayne. To Sister Leah out there. Long yeah, Beach. Leah, Lima, Q, Pimp. Nope. And shout out to my team, bro. Very much appreciate it. When you first started your music journey, like, like, were you signed to a label? Yeah. Uh, uh, man, as far as sign, like, I was rocking. We was over, I was over there with 454. You know, okay. like, like I told you how, like, we was all family. So it was just more or less like, oh, yeah, man, this this squad, this my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was all a handshake. You know what I mean? There was never no paperwork, and that's the way that we rock it. I mean, that's how we rock it to this day. Yeah, man, Drew, Drew got himself uh, a studio over here in San Jose, and the Cutthroat got themselves a studio out there in Hayward. And, you know, we, we still rock with each other to this day. You know, we might not talk every day, but yeah. shit, man, everyone's making moves, and, you know, we all put ourselves in a great position, and, you know, create, you know, create lucrative funds for ourselves, you know, in the better interest of us and our family for the future. That's dope. Shout out to 454. Shout out, Shout to, out to 454, man. All Drew of them, Drew, DG, all the whole camp. Out yeah, there, man. man. DG, Chef, Kim, all of them. Even the big homies, man. Chris and them. Shout out to my brothers, uh, Cut Throw to them. Man, we're rocking with the long way, bro. You can't leave something that lasts forever. Mm, I oh, love All the lines, bro. Yeah, hey, dude, bro. This Please. dude's like a walking <laughs> <laughs> quotation bar, dude. They're like, hit go for like a <laughs> line now. Let's get into this single, though, man. Talk to yeah, us about man. this single, man. Go ahead and, and, and play that one time, Manny. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shit, man. The single, uh, man, shout out to Finn, to now David Thomas for rocking with me, man. Much appreciated. And the homeboy Doc for making the beat. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. We trying quick, to do man. some uh, Afro pop ish, you know what I mean? Mm. I wanna say I, I, yeah. I wanna take yeah, man. Right now, boy, Let's get this down. show. Mm. Uh, You got so talk to us. You got Finn on there. You got Tyrell. Yeah. You got David yeah. Thomas. How did that whole thing come together? Man, through the, I mean, you know, like when we was talking about my journey coming up, you know, I I made you know acquaintances along the way, and you know, shit. Thank God that you know people you know were able to you know return the favor and you know help me out. You know, and what I got going on. So I was like, man, why not? You know, you put Finn and Tan on, on one song, and I was like, man, shit, Cali do it all the time with other artists. And then yeah. I and then we just so happened to have David Thomas. That was like his home base, and uh, the bro Q, who, who's part of my squad, you know, he rocked with him tough. So he came over there just on the behalf to you know make sure we was all right. And I was like, nah, bro, I'm gonna need like a a bar mm-hmm. verse or something from this kid, man. You know, because I was listening to him for a while. You know, I'm a huge fan of all three of them. You know, I've been following them, you know, like sporadically through the years. Because you know, you do this and then 
you you're like, oh man, what, what are my peers doing? You know, what are they moving? You know, what's what's the, what's the new thing that they got going on? So mm-hmm. when it came to that thing, and then they was able to come through to the session that I set up. I mean, we we was able to do that answer them. So you know, be on the lookout for new music, man. So that's what's up. That's so. what's up. It's a dope record. So if you're listening, if you're doing in, once again, go ahead and share this live. Go to iTunes and download the new joint from Ado Anthem. We've got Tanel on a shout out to please, Tanel, please. Finn, and David Thomas are all on this. This is a summer track. Download it a thousand times, ladies and gentlemen. Run it a thousand up. times. Oh my, we so dope, man. We got any questions uh, from folks online, Manny? Yeah, we do. So I don't want to, you know, I always tell the, our guests that, that jump in on the show, though, I don't know if you noticed, I've been looking off screen a lot and there was no disrespect. That's to read because I'm reading the comments live as they go. Oh, man, do you, man? Yep. Our first question <coughs> is uh, to Ado is, uh, what's your favorite football team, bro? Oh, man, I'm a, a bang, bang, Niner gang, baby. Bang, bang, Niner, Niner gang. Niner gang, baby. <laughs> But man, I've been liking the Niners forever, dog. Uh, yeah, shit, yeah. that that like makes my like my family. You know, that's the memories I get. Like, that's the first time I really like was chilling my pot, like watching the Niners game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We ain't really had nothing else to come when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. I thought I swore I saw you in a Seahawks uh, hat in the, one of the videos. Hey, you want me to turn this uh, <laughs> interview off right now? <laughs> <laughs> All, all them Niner fans that are on the line. Let's see you guys. Nah, hey, man, she has got a good team, bro. She has got a good team, man. It's going to be a dope game. I went to the game last that... year, bro. That shit was sick, bro. That shit was sick. It was the best game I ever been to, bro. And we lost, bro. You did know what I'm saying? Like, that, was the, that was the overtime game? That, that was, was the yeah. overtime game, dog. Probably one of the best sick, games bro. ever, man. Yeah, Thank we you. was like in the small section where like the bar was only like 25 yards from us, dog. So we was getting wasted. Both games were fire last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last game, yeah, that shit. Yeah, wow, bro, that shit bang, was fire, bang, yeah. Niner game. You got yeah. you, can't, you can't be from the Bay Area and not be a Niner fan, right? Like, that's oh, yeah, you can. You definitely can, bro. Really? You can be whatever. Hell, yeah. Hey, you can do what you want. It's Niner America, fans man. Are lighting up the feed right now, bro. Are they lighting it up? Man, all the Niner fans, right if you now. want this, man, go ahead and yeah, share this yeah, and light it up. Hello, bang, bang, hello, bang, hello. bang. So, you you've been a Niner fan your whole fan. What how, when did you fall in love with the Niners? Was it just growing up in the Bay and seeing? The nah, there was uh, when I was younger. My my father had a cassette tape, but when they went back to back, uh, eighty eight and eighty nine. It was so long ago. I don't remember. It was... uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the gums. It's kind of a long time. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you want to hear my story or what? Go it ahead, was... Oose, Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, that's when I fell in love with it, dog. That's the first time uh, I was. I fell in love with the, the running game when they had Bill Walsh and Roger Craig and uh, Tom Rath and catching like one hand catches off the backfield type shit. So you said something about a cassette tape that pops had. Yeah, that's 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 like the first time I ever like really saw the Niners was on the cassette tapes and it was just the highlights. So it's like all the dope shit, right? So I'm yeah. like, this is dope. You know, my father was really into it. And now when we watch games, bro, it's like y'all, me and all my brothers go to my mama's house just to watch it together. You know, it's like more of the, the family getting together thing, you know, like the yeah. camaraderie of, you know, this is us, bro. This is ours, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. man. We, we Our household is split, man. Shout out to my family. One half of my family are, are Niner fans. The other half are Seahawks fans. So Sundays are crazy. Like that game, that first man. game, regular season, Niners in, 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 in Seattle, man, it was cage. Yeah, man. Our house, man. It had to be yanking out there, dog. That was a crazy win. Any other questions from those guys online, Manny? Yeah. Um. What inspired uh the first album, Ado Hello? Mm. Man, it was uh I was really trying to get on. Like uh, when I was over there with Four Five Four, I used to set up like uh studio sessions where I just go knock hella songs out, and it got to the point where I had so much uh quality work that the team was like, "Hey, yo, bro, this this nigga already got an album ready. You know what I mean? He already got a project ready to go." So I, I sat down and then uh I sat down with Seth. And uh, DZ, and then really they they gave me the green light to go, and then me and Seth went through the uh, the thing as far as positioning the songs and putting it on, and even the ideas for like the 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 cover and all that stuff. You know, they went through that, and it was really on a not, we didn't have no big budget or anything. It was just like on some simultaneous, you know, like like spontaneous, like oh, bro, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this. It was really like that. Like, it wasn't really planned out whatsoever, bro. It was just on some like organic, like, hey, yo, this look like, a, you know, this look like a bag right here. Let's run it in. And it's crazy because sometimes like the organic stuff that just happened naturally 
or or you know by coincidence that stuff is the best stuff and so yeah bro it's funny man a lot of the songs that i don't like or yeah a lot of ones that i don't like like song wise are some of the most viewed ones so (laughs) yeah yeah you know somebody's like i don't know what the hell the hell i'm doing dope let's take one more question uh, question. from those guys uh, online man all right so i keep getting this question about i don't know if you know sefa out here the young cat yeah, from Shaq Town. Yeah, that's the home, man. Yeah. That so man nice, bro. Yeah, man, nice, man. So a lot of it, yeah. a lot of people have been asking if you was uh if you would ever collab with Seth on the track. Yeah. I've it's it's funny though because uh, you know, I've done tracks with Seth. I oh, I, wow. I gave him a verse with it was him and uh man, Dallas Casey, another dope ass artist from uh I wanna say he he from down south. I just don't know the city. I but I did a song. Town. Yeah? I think so, somewhere in LA. Well, I, uh, there was a song with him and him, and then uh, he was on actually one of my songs called uh, "Problems" on one of my mixtapes mm-hmm. back in the day. But yeah, we haven't done nothing as up to uh, like up to date. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, definitely soon, man. Sure, something like that get better with time, though, no, man. Yeah, Especially yeah, yeah. the way that man going. Yeah, bro, he's, he's nice, still going man. for it, dog. Yeah, man, he's chasing it just like Sheffield. me. So shout out to Sheffa, man. Shout out to Sheffa. Where did the name Ado come from? How'd you get the uh, name? Man, my real name's Angel. And then my nephew Dude. couldn't say Angel or like it would sound like Ado, right? And then oh wow, it was something to that extent, dog. You know, so long ago, my brother started calling me dope, and then all the homies started calling me dope. And after that, I started rapping, started moving around, shit stuck. Wow, that's dope, man. Thank you guys for all the questions online. Thank you for sharing, though. We're we're gonna do something really interesting right here. Uh, which we call rapid questions. And what we're going to do is rapid we're going to ask you a series of questions and you got to ask, you got to answer them uh, on the drop of a dime. You ready, Use? But, but, but the, the, the second rule is that no explanation. No explanation. Give your answer, you can't All right. All right. Let's try this out, man. Here we go. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Hey, <laughs> though. <laughs> you legit out here, bro. You got it, Use. You ready? Here we go. Uh, Set the timer, Manny. Hold up, hold up, bro. Dang, I didn't know you played play the music. Now, you know, music yeah. do a lot to a situation, man. You just set, we, you set the here whole we go. tone. And shit. You got to answer quick and honestly, Use. All right. Here we go. What go. is your favorite drink before a show? Water. What was your first, where was your first date with your wife? The movies. Watermelons or bananas? Bananas. Who would you rather smoke out with, Takashi Six Nine or Donald Trump? Man, fuck both of them. <laughs> Beyonce or Jennifer Lopez? Beyonce. Bisupo or Pirikaki? Bisupo. Favorite color? Uh, green. Who do you hate the most, the Seahawks or the Raiders? Yeah, <laughs> man, it'd probably be the Raiders. <laughs> Reggae or rap? Right. Final question. BG or J Boog? Oh man, why you gotta do that, man? Knock it off, man. Shout out to both those artists. I rock with both of them. Both, both, both. <laughs> Thank you for playing, bro. We appreciate hey, you. You kill me with the music, dog. <laughs> Cold peace for that one. I was like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> Manny with the with the with the with the background joints there, man. We appreciate you uh playing along, man. And that's just really just to show the realness of of everybody that comes on to Big Oost Radio. Well, so we appreciate you uh being a team player and just jumping in on that. You still didn't answer Fiji or J Bug, Goose. Okay, man, I rock with both of them, man. I rock with both of them, man. <laughs> Good answer, Uso. Um, yes, so tell us what's 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 a day in the life of Ado like? Like what is what is every day for you like Monday through through Sunday? Like what is what is what does every day for you look like? Uh pretty much work, uh riding. And then checking in with my family. That's pretty much that's pretty much it in a nutshell, dog. Outside of getting money, however I could get it, but that's pretty much in a nutshell, man. Right on. Mm. A- any upcoming projects uh, that folks should be looking out for? Yeah, definitely. We should be uh, dropping some soon, sooner than soon, and a couple at that. Uh, look out for the next couple of months, man. I'm giving y'all some new music for y'all to digest. And uh, okay. yeah, hopefully do some. Uh, we're trying to do some videos and stuff, but it's so hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rather than just yeah, because it's so quarantine, we gonna figure it out. Give y'all something to bite on. Right on. Where's your favorite? You've you've been around, you know, around the nation and toured. Where's your favorite place to perform? 
Ooh. Damn, it might be Tacoma, dog. Hey! Yeah, hey! Let's get it. Like, yeah, that was like probably one of the flyest ones I've ever had. One of the funnest times I've ever had was at the Tacoma one. Uh, they had a venue where uh, they had the stairs that go up top. Mm-hmm. And then it's like you see you like damn near on a balcony performing up there and then jazz yeah, bones. and then they have like the little uh VIP under there. Yeah, yeah. jazz bones. And then you can bones. see like the long bar. Yeah, that shit that shit was fire. Yeah, that shit okay. was fire. Yeah. So would you come back out here? If we brought you back out here, yeah. would you come back out and rock with us? Yeah, yeah, say less, man. Up there me with a good time, man. Hey, dog, how many times you been up here, though? You been up here a few times. Man, I've been up there a handful of times, dog. I got a lot of love for Seattle, Tacoma, That's everywhere, bro, out there, bro. I got love for Washington, dog. And, man, y'all be smoking on the streets, smoking in front of the police. <laughs> it's legal. <laughs> like, yeah, you whoa, know what whoa, I mean? whoa. I like you it. Know? I like it. Yeah, yeah it's man. fly out there, bro. And the food great out there, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely, man. Hey, definitely. that's dope. Coming from somebody from Cali, man. Talking about yeah, man. Cause I love the food in Cali, man. So yeah, real. bro. The Perovskis over there off the pier in uh, oh, Seattle. Oh yeah, Smagging, bro. Smagging. Yeah. And he here for like eight, eight dollars and shit. And I was like, fuck, yeah. man, that shit is good though. <laughs> <laughs> what is your What is your messaging to those that listen to Ado music? Every time they hear your track, what do you want them to know and feel as you're delivering whatever it is that's from your heart? What is your messaging to folks that that listen to your music? Man, I ain't got no set message, but it will be something along the lines of, uh, you know, be careful how you talk to yourself, uh, really follow your heart, and don't, don't be afraid to uh, fail, man. Uh, that's really what it comes down to, man. It's normal. And, you know, even like uh, all that, you know, being in a bad place and, you know, you off, you got another negative energy, you know, you depressed, you know, that stuff's normal, man. That too shall pass, my man. You know, everyone go through that. You know, but closed mouth don't get fed, man. You got to ask for this information so you can digest it, you know, make That's yourself good. better. I would say something along those lines, man. Be yourself. Mm. Love yourself, dog, for real. Yeah. That's great, man. That's, that's powerful words as you're, if you're viewing in from wherever you're listening from, man, be yourself, love yourself from Ado. Any shout outs uh, you want to give to anybody that might be watching? Man, just uh, to my family, uh, to everyone I've ever worked with doing music. I mean, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Man, to everyone out there, whoever was watching, thank y'all for listening in. Uh, shout out to to, to Positivity Talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Too. yeah. So like that. that. We appreciate that. It's been... Um... It's been such a pleasure to rock with you this last hour, man. Having you on has been so... Uh, Hold on, bro. For us to, that you would Go both ways, bro. I, can, I didn't even know she was an hour already. Yeah, man. It's been an hour. That's that's usually what happens when you're chilling with yeah. me. You know? Yeah. Time that goes, boy, man. That boy. We can uh, just be together. But we are so appreciative on behalf of Big Goose Radio, Manny and I. Yep. Thank you so much. So we wish you nothing but prosperity, man, in the future and all your future uh, endeavors. Thank you so much for, you know, taking the time. Shout out to A Plus Family. Yes, sir. Um, shout out to all the family back in San Ho, Leah and Long Beach and the whole camp. Thank you so much. So um, if if folks are interested in like booking you for a show, do they need to just contact Leah? A plus family? Is that what they need to do? Yeah. Just go to my uh, my A plus family management at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, the emails on my uh, my bio page for the IGs, but definitely just go through there and I'll have my team and then we'll get we'll get y'all situated for that. Okay. And, and and for those that you guys are listening in, like Joe mentioned earlier, like they've lost a lot of shows because of this pandemic. And so shows that were up and coming this year are no longer there because of what we're going through. So, you know, any contribution that you can make by downloading the album, do they have a link where if folks want to donate? Because I'm getting some text messages of people asking me like, yo, how can we donate directly to ADO? Oh damn, man, that's dope, man. That's much yeah. appreciated. Uh, just direct them to Leah or, or Lima okay. from my team, bro. Please, okay. bro, very much appreciated. Tell them folks, thank you. Know what I mean? A lot to me. Yeah, we appreciate. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Can you shout out this Friday? We have what's called. Oh, yeah, we got Fire Friday. Shout out to Fire Friday. Fire bro, Fridays man. with DJ Una and JJ. Uh, this Friday, tune in. We're gonna be doing some live session. Doe, it has been just a blessing. Manny, you got any final words? No, just I just want to say thank you, Doe, for doing this. I know, you know, we're just a small little thing, but you know, hopefully we can blow up and and do something. Yeah, man, keep being yourselves, bro. Shit, it worked for me. And then just the artists that 
you know, who's tuning in and stuff in, in the comment section and stuff. Just blessing them and, and just I appreciate you for doing this, man. Go both Thank ways, you, bro. Thank you. Hey, salute to you. God bless you, man. Good luck to you. We'll talk soon. Uso. All right, bro. You have a good one. You too, so. We're going to play that single, Manny. Let's go. Yeah. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. You make a say. That's good. Hey. I want rock with Manny and I just a couple of things when we get off of here. This Friday, we have Fire Friday with DJ Una and JJ. They are going to be mixing. We are going to be going back and forth between them. It's going to be a great time. It starts at, it kicks off at 9 p.m. and it ends at midnight. So you can get yourself settled in. Friday, if you ain't doing nothing, tap in with us. It's going to be a great night. We are super, super grateful. The a Doe, shout out to the a Doe camp. You know, all the fans back in San Jose, thank you guys for doing this. Another thing is, you know, and, and shout out to all the Niner fans. We actually got um, Kendrick Bourne on for next next week's show, bro. Yeah, man. So for all, the, all you Niner fans, man, tune in next week. We have live on the show Kendrick Bourne from the San Francisco 49ers. We'll be rocking with Big Goose next week, man. So yes, look sir. out for Fire Fridays. We put out, um, we have uh, Poly Girls Rock, you know, Tea Time with Kiana coming out. Wild Out Wednesdays. Wild Out Wednesday, starting next week, Wednesday with the Uso uh, Captain Boom. We'll be streaming games all week uh, or all Wednesday. Um, so jump on there. Fire Fridays. We have a uh, shout out to the Uso Tyler Monga. We're going to be releasing his show in July called The Tyler Mawa Show, where we're going to actually um, share his new EP single. So a lot of stuff on the horizon for Big Goose Radio. We want to thank y'all for tuning in and rocking with us. Y'all been asking about the merch. Give us a quick second. We're, we're, we're getting that set up. Manny? I just want to give a shout out to my niece. It's her, it's her birthday today or tomorrow. Okay. Happy birthday, Hadassah Stevens, if you're listening out there. And so, uh, also thank you. You know, like I, I want to echo what Bug was talking about. Thank you to all the viewers who tuned in, yeah. uh, people who's going to tune in later. Don't forget to share, 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 uh, so we can get all get all this content out there. And and uh, a lot of good, great, dope interview today, man. Dude, that was dope, man. I love I, that dude. Is just such a down to earth guy, right? Yeah. And he's so talented too, right? Yeah. So dude, he's just... like, when we're talking to him, he's like spin bars. You know? I know. <laughs> Dude is just like he's a just a matrix for like wisdom, man. He's just like everything he spits is like a song, right? Dude is like everything. Yeah, I watch window. <laughs> you know, dude. Just, he's just, hey, he's, Bug. Yeah. JJ's on the feed. He said, uh, "Bug, I'm still waiting for my case of Pisupo." Oh, <laughs> look, my the the store is closed <laughs> because of COVID nineteen. There's no more Pisupo, so. I'm sorry, Uso. We're going to eat Pilikaki on Friday for Fire Friday. Fire Friday. You know, but next week, Friday, man. I mean, next week, Tuesday, man. Kendrick Bourne, man, from the San Francisco 49ers. We got Fire Fridays with JJ. You, like, JJ is one of the... And DJ Uno. Like, two of the most... One of the most gifted young men on the scene right now, man. So, I'm excited about Fire Friday. It's going to be dope. Shout out to Leah. I see you, Leah. Thank you, Leah, for joining the team. I know you're... I know you're excited about that... Uh, uh, that that doe is a hardcore 49er fan <laughs> but it's been so dope man it's been so dope to rock with y'all thank you for uh tuning in uh we'll right. see you guys this friday man fire fridays yep all right peace out y'all love right, and bye. blessings from from manny and i big goose radio out Left in the tank. If you brain so you know what I think. Sugar, see that in that cane in the field. And then she shows that you feel. I want you here. She hit her mama, she don't want me around no more. Washed up, you still love me, you sure. Swim good. You know, in the corner like a mom and pasta. I do this to get mom and pasta.